Ever wondered what to do in Ireland? Well, buckle up as we're about to embark on a virtual journey through this enchanting land. Ireland, fondly known as the Emerald Isle, is a destination that dazzles with its diverse landscapes, brims over with a rich history, and pulsates with a vibrant culture. From verdant rolling hills to rugged coastal cliffs, from ancient castles echoing tales of yore to lively pubs resonating with traditional music, Ireland is a treasure trove of experiences waiting to be explored. In this video, we'll be guiding you through the top things to do in Ireland in a countdown format. We'll start from the lesser known yet equally captivating activities and gradually move towards the most popular attractions. So whether you're a history buff, nature lover, or a culture enthusiast, there's something for everyone in this charming country. Are you ready to discover the hidden gems of Ireland? Let's dive in. Starting at number five, we have the Wild Atlantic Way. This breathtaking route stretching along the west coast of Ireland is a must for any travel enthusiast. This is not just a road trip, it's a journey through history, culture, and unparalleled natural beauty. Spanning over 2,500 kilometers, the Wild Atlantic Way is the longest defined coastal touring route in the world. It's a haven for explorers, winding its way from the Inishowen Peninsula in the north down to the picturesque town of Kinsale in the south. As you traverse this stunning path, you'll be treated to a symphony of landscapes, from rugged cliffs and untouched beaches to lush green fields and mountains touching the sky. But what truly sets the Wild Atlantic Way apart is its charm. Every twist and turn along the route unveils quaint towns and villages, each with their own unique character. These are places where time seems to have stood still, where local pubs bustle with friendly chatter and traditional music, and where every face is a friend waiting to be met. And then there are the historic landmarks, reminders of Ireland's rich and complex past. From ancient stone forts like Dunangasa that whisper tales of bygone eras, to more recent sites like the hauntingly beautiful Kylamore Abbey, the Wild Atlantic Way is a treasure trove of stories waiting to be discovered. Of course, one can't forget the wildlife. Whether it's spotting dolphins off the coast of Dingle, bird watching on the Skellig Islands, or catching a glimpse of the elusive Irish hare, the Wild Atlantic Way is a paradise for nature lovers. So, whether you're a seasoned traveler looking for your next adventure or simply someone with a passion for beauty and history, the Wild Atlantic Way is a journey like no other. It's a place where each mile is a memory and every view is a postcard. A journey on the Wild Atlantic Way promises an unforgettable adventure filled with beauty and charm. Moving on to number four, we delve into the history and heritage of Ireland's ancient East. Immerse yourself in a time when high kings ruled the land, monks penned masterpieces, and the mystical druids roamed freely. Welcome to Ireland's ancient East, a region rich in historical sites and ancient ruins. It's an enchanting tapestry of time that weaves together centuries of Irish history and culture. One of the key landmarks of this region is the Rock of Cashel. Towering over the surrounding plains, it's a stunning collection of medieval architecture that dates back more than a thousand years. It was once the seat of the Kings of Munster, and legend has it that it's here where St. Patrick converted the pagan king to Christianity. Then there's Glendalow, nestled in the heart of Wicklow Mountains National Park. This early medieval monastic settlement, established in the 6th century by St. Kevin, is a serene place of beauty and tranquility. Its round tower, standing tall against the backdrop of the lush valley and peaceful lakes, tells tales of a time when saints and scholars thrived. And of course, no journey to Ireland's ancient east would be complete without a visit to Newgrange, a UNESCO World Heritage Site. This impressive Stone Age passage tomb is older than the pyramids of Egypt and Stonehenge. As the winter solstice sun rises, a beam of light penetrates the passage and illuminates the chamber within, a testament to our ancestors' understanding of the cosmos. But the ancient East isn't just about the past, it's about the people, the stories, the folklore that has been passed down from generation to generation. It's about the intimate connection to the land and its history that you can feel when you walk through ancient ruins, touch the weathered stones, and listen to the echoes of the past. Ireland's ancient East offers a captivating journey back in time, revealing the country's rich history and heritage. This is a place where the past 
is palpable, where every stone, every path, every whispering wind carries a story waiting to be discovered. Coming in at number three, immerse yourself in the lively world of traditional Irish music. Traditional Irish music, or trad as it's affectionately known, is the pulsating heartbeat of Irish culture. It's a living, breathing entity that tells the story of the Emerald Isle's history from its ancient roots to its modern evolution. An integral part of the Irish identity, this music captures the spirit of the people, their joys, their sorrows, and their indomitable resilience. This music comes alive in the energetic atmosphere of local pubs where musicians gather for sessions. These impromptu performances are a cornerstone of Irish social life where everyone is encouraged to join in, whether by playing an instrument, singing, or simply tapping along to the rhythm. No two sessions are the same, each one a unique blend of tunes, songs, and stories that create an unforgettable experience. In Dublin, you can't miss the Cobblestone, a beloved music pub known for its daily sessions. While in Galway, Tig Coily is a must-visit, famous for its vibrant music scene. And let's not forget about the rural pubs where the music often feels as raw and as real as the rugged landscapes outside. Ireland also plays host to numerous music festivals throughout the year. The Fleda Shawal, an annual festival celebrating Irish music and culture, draws musicians from all over the world for a week of competition and camaraderie. And then there's the Willie Clancy Summer School, a week-long immersion in traditional music, song, and dance, attracting enthusiasts from all corners of the globe. From the lively jigs that will get your feet tapping, to the soulful ballads that tug at your heartstrings, to the lilting melodies of the Willian pipes that will transport you to another time, Traditional Irish music is a rich tapestry of sound and emotion. You can't help but be drawn into its enchanting rhythm, its captivating storytelling, and its infectious joy. From lively jigs to soulful ballads, experiencing traditional Irish music is an absolute must when visiting Ireland. At number two, we have the iconic Guinness Storehouse. Nestled in the heart of Dublin, this seven-story landmark is more than just a brewery. It's a testament to the rich heritage of Ireland's most beloved stout. The Guinness Storehouse was once the fermentation house of the St. James's Gate Brewery, where Guinness was brewed from 1904 until 1988. Today, it stands as a monument to the enduring legacy of Arthur Guinness, who signed a 9,000-year lease on the brewery in 1759, ensuring the stout would flow for centuries to come. Inside this magnificent structure, you'll embark on a fascinating journey through the brewing process. From the sourcing of the ingredients to the careful crafting of the brew, each stage is a testament to the time-honored tradition of quality and craftsmanship that defines Guinness. But the experience doesn't end there. As you ascend the building, you'll find yourself at the gravity bar, perched seven stories high. Here you can enjoy a complimentary pint of the black stuff while feasting your eyes on a 360-degree panorama of Dublin cityscape. It's an enchanting sight that perfectly complements the rich, creamy taste of your drink. A visit to the Guinness Storehouse is a treat for all senses, offering a deeper understanding of Ireland's most famous export. And finally at number one, we have the breathtaking cliffs of Moher. These towering cliffs rising majestically above the Atlantic Ocean on the western coast of Ireland are one of the most iconic natural attractions in the country. Stretching for over eight kilometers and reaching a height of more than 200 meters, they are a testament to the raw, untamed beauty of the Emerald Isle. From the highest point, you can feast your eyes on a panorama of sea and sky, where the azure of the ocean meets the green of the Irish countryside interrupted only by the soaring flight of seabirds. Speaking of wildlife, the cliffs of Moher are a haven for a variety of species. From the Atlantic puffins that nest in the cliff faces during the spring to the dolphins that can occasionally be spotted frolicking in the waves below, nature enthusiasts will be in their element. The visitor center, cleverly built into a hillside to blend with the natural environment, offers a wealth of information about the cliff's geology, flora, fauna, and cultural history. 
Interactive displays and exhibits bring to life the rich tapestry of stories and scientific facts that make up the cliff's history. The awe-inspiring cliffs of Moher are the crown jewel of Ireland, offering an unforgettable experience that encapsulates the country's natural beauty. And there you have it, the top things to do in Ireland. We've journeyed through the majestic, wild Atlantic Way, unveiling its rugged beauty. We've delved into the ancient East, where history whispers from every stone. We've been immersed in the soul-stirring melodies of traditional Irish music, a true feast for the senses. We've walked the hallowed halls of the iconic Guinness Storehouse, a testament to Ireland's rich brewing heritage. And finally, we've stood atop the awe-inspiring cliffs of Mohair, where land meets sea in a breathtaking spectacle. Each of these experiences paints a unique stroke on the canvas of Ireland, revealing a vibrant, diverse, and deeply captivating country. And remember, there's nothing quite like experiencing it firsthand. The charm of Ireland is not just in its landscapes and landmarks, but also in the warmth of its people and the rhythm of its culture. Ireland is a treasure trove of experiences waiting to be discovered. So what are you waiting for? Start planning your Irish adventure today.